Hi, my name is Caroline and I'm a biochemistry major from the class of 2017. Hi, my name is Alicia and I'm a chemistry major from the class of 2016. Today we're going to talk about gas chromatography and how to use a GC. Among other factors, GC uses the difference in intermolecular forces to separate and identify compounds based on their relative boiling points. A sample is injected into the instrument and it's heated according to settings controlled by the user and the computer. As the compound heats up, it begins to evaporate and the gaseous molecules travel through a long coiled tube inside the GC. This tube is known as the column and is typically long and coiled. The column is coated with a material designed to hinder the passage of certain compounds while allowing others to flow through with ease. They are separated according to how strongly they interact with the column. Because the compounds boil at different temperatures and interact with the column differently, they reach the detector at the end of the column at different times. The detector records the times it takes for the compound to be eluded. This time is called the retention time and can be used to compare and identify compounds. The first thing you should do to set up the GC is plug the USB cable into the computer and flip the switch on the GC. Next, open up Logger Pro. In order to set the temperature on the GC, click Collect in Logger Pro. When prompted, enter the following parameters. Start 30C, hold 2 minutes, ramp 5 Cs per minute, final 80C, hold time 3 minutes, pressure 8 kilopascals. After this, you must wait for the GC to reach the start temperature before injecting the sample. In order to clean the syringe, draw up about 0.3 to 0.4 microliters of sample and dispense onto a Kim wipe. Repeat this process three times. It is important that you do not pull the syringe out of the barrel completely, as this will ruin the syringe. Once the GC is at the start temperature and the syringe is clean, it is time to inject the sample. Caroline will drop the appropriate amount of sample into the syringe, making sure that there are no air bubbles. Next, Caroline will inject the sample and I will click start simultaneously. It is important to inject the sample and click start at the same time. After the compound is eluted, it is advantageous to reset the start temperature because it may take a while for the GC to get back to the start temperature. Click Store Run under the Experimental menu. Click Collect and verify the temperature parameters. We can examine our data while the GC prepares for the next injection. At the top of each peak is the retention time, or the amount of time it took for the compound to elute. Generally, compounds with strong intermolecular forces or high boiling points elute slower and thus have a larger retention time.